In the Gospel today, we hear this very familiar uh, saying of Jesus, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For whoever asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. But he doesn't say when these things will happen. He doesn't say ask and bam. It's going to be like Amazon Prime. No, uh, God sometimes delays because he waits for that perfect moment. But he is faithful. He is faithful. He is our daddy and our Abba. He wants to take care of us. As I was praying through this reading, it reminded me of uh, a story that Sister Anne Shields uh, spoke of. Now, this was a story that I remember listening to growing up. Remember what, back when we used tapes? Um, I think this, she was speaking at a fire rally in the 1980s. Uh, I don't remember exactly when, but I haven't listened to tapes for a long time, so my memory may be a little sketchy on the details, but the, the uh, heart of the matter is what's, what's important. She was going around the world at that time, uh, evangelizing, speaking of the good news of what God is doing. And so Sister Anne was saying that God spoke to her as she was going off to Australia and saying, I'm going to show you a father's love on this trip. And she saw it in so many different ways, and people being healed and, and uh, set free in so many different ways on their, on their, uh, in their work that they were doing. But so that last day, as they were getting ready to leave, uh, they had to run off to the airport. And then somebody said, do you have the tickets, as they were down in the lobby. like. Oh, the tickets. Now, you remember the day back when we actually had to have a physical ticket in order to get on a plane? Back before the computers where you could just, you know, print up your boarding pass right there and then? You actually had, well, you needed the physical tickets and they forgot the physical tickets when they went, when they left the, the room. So, they, one of them ran back up to the, to the hotel room. House cleaning was very efficient that day. They'd already taken everything and thrown it in the trash. And then what they did at that particular hotel was they would then throw the trash down a chute, which would then go into an incinerator. And it was already done. And so they said to the hotel manager or whoever was helping them out, well, can we go down and look at the incinerator and you know see if it's you know, well I don't have much hope for you but we can do it and so they got down there and they had this trap that they had to open to dump all of that trash into the fire and so he's like I, I it's been like it's been like 12 hours since we've done this there's so much trash and she said, well, can you at least try? So he pulls the lever, whole thing dumps in. There's this massive amount of trash that's now fallen on. on. He's got this rake and he's trying to like rake through this stuff. And they're just all worried. And she just says this prayer to the Father. Father, you promised. That was it. Now, the trash had already come down, right? But at that moment, then these two pieces of paper flip, 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 fell down and landed on the edge, not in the coals or in the flames. And she looks at it and says, It's the plane tickets! And the manager of the hotel looks and says, It's the plane tickets? It's the plane tickets! Glory be to God! And the uh, hotel manager says, Yep, that's all you can say. Glory be to God. The faithfulness of our Father, even when all things seem lost, He is still faithful.
But will we recognize he is a daddy to us? That we are his beloved sons and daughters.